Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine the domain and range from a set of mapping. So basically what we have is here we have input values mapping to output values. So remember when we're looking into like domain and range, uh, you know, a lot of times we use the um, or the definition of domain, we say, you know, the set of all x values. Well, remember that when we're looking into function, x values represent the input, and a lot of time and y values um, represent the output. So when you're looking at this, you can basically say that the input is going to be the set, set of all x values, where the output is going to be the set of all y values. Now, before we go and get into domain and range, we've got to make sure we're taking domain and range of a function, meaning that all the inputs uniquely map to one single output. And you can see that each one of these only goes to one output. So therefore, the domain is, I'm just going to write in set notation, is basically just going to be all of my values in my input. So it's 1, 7, 8, 9, and 11. For my range, that's going to be the set of all my outputs. So that's going to be 4, negative 2, 3, 8, and 11. Over in this example, again, input represents the x values, which is your domain, and the output represents your range. Now again, remember, for to have domain and range, it has to be our function. So therefore, we want to make sure that they all uniquely map. Now, you can see that they all go to 2, or most of them, 8, 10, and 12 all go to 2. But they only uniquely go to 2. They don't go to any other number. So therefore, this is a function. And I'll write my domain as 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And my range I'll write as 1, 2, 3. For the next three values, um, I don't need to go through my domain and range because you can basically see that these are not a function. And again, these are not a function, but you can see my value 8 maps to 1 and it maps to, or net maps to negative 1 as well as maps to 1. So it doesn't uniquely map to one value like 6 and 7 do. So therefore, I'm not going to determine the domain range. I'm just going to write not a function. And then over here, you can see that 1 maps to 3 and 4, and 2 maps to 5 and 6. So again, they don't uniquely do that. So we say not a function. OK, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how um, you determine the domain and range from a set of mapping. Thanks.